Okay, guys. Uh, important topic here is to discuss about why so many sales professionals, account executives, the group account executives, the account managers are struggling to sell the Gen AI services to the clients. While there has been a lot of buzz around Gen AI investment from the provider side, from the hyperscaler side, the big uh, industry giants, they are announcing that they are investing and infusing a lot of capital. But in the same time, we see that there's a sizable struggle from the sales account manager side to sales the Gen AI services. See, the Google Gen AI services are fantastic, but trust me, the procurement function of the client or the CIO would not buy because you are saying that Google has got this 20 services and we can implement it. No, Google can also do that. The question is that what value you as a service provider would bring or what value you as a hyperscaler would bring apart from what we believe that you have as a ready-made set of products and the services. It is really important that the sales executives and the account executive or the technical account manager, they offer the value and the education to the CIO and the CIO minus one and down to the procurement function. You need to make them understand why Gen AI is the need of the R, why it is really impacting and transforming the business the way it needs to be done and why basically Google Cloud and the buyer and the potential system integrator can derive the value for you. If you don't do this kind of conversation, the first challenge would be after one or two conversation, the CIO and the procurement function would not appreciate and entertain you for any kind of conversation. Got to be craft a very deep business personality, which means your conversation with the senior stakeholders has to be beyond product and services. Can you really engage your clients on the top 10 business problem statement which the retail sector is experiencing and how GI can, Gen AI can really help the clients to pivot from those challenges and, and build the new product and the services and help them to increase the revenue. If that is not happening, trust me, one conversation done. And they will not entertain you for anything else next time. It is also important to understand in your buyer ecosystem, how many stakeholders really understand the Gen AI, importance of Gen AI, the impact of the Gen AI for the employees, for the end user customer, for the supply chain. Figure out those potential stakeholders at the client side, teach them, educate them, enable them with the all best possible things so that they become ambassador of yours. If you cannot make three ambassadors for your services in the client ecosystem who can actually talk on your behalf, do a sort of advocacy. It means your product and the services and the firm is not being heard rightly. And there is something wrong with the sales professionals and with the account managers. The 
important aspect which majority of the sales in the account manager miss is the earning reports, which means outside in view. How many times have do you really track your CIO, the prospect CIO, CEO, the whole CXO stakeholders, what they are talking about the Gen AI in the different forums? Track them. See what kind of problem statement are they talking about? What are they doing in this space of Gen AI? Have they started? Do they want to start? And that will become your narrative. Try to build a narrative by this outside in view. Then you build your inside out view and then help them to kind of really build a right proposition. And if you have a right narrative in place, then you go and create a right business case. Become the part of this co-innovation and then start with the pocket. But then you should be very clear that anything and everything which you do with the client in the Gen AI space, that needs to be measured. If you cannot measure it, then there's a problem. So figure this out. How do you really stitch around the conversation with the client? You got to be very clear on the problem that you're gonna solve. Follow some sales mechanism, the methodology like medic. See what you are measuring, how you are measuring, what is the process, who are the key stakeholders, who are the key buying decision makers, what do they need, and how can you really close the whole cycle? Pick up the Google Cloud Gen AI services, map it back to the business impact, the problem statement, go back to the client, Test it. One conversation, everything is done, never happens. What is important every time when you talk to the customer, test the idea based on what they are talking in the various forum in the public domain. Then you bring your insight in view. Test it, test it, test it. If you keep doing that for two, three quarters, Trust me, there's a high possibility that you will navigate whether the client is really interested to buy or they would want to wait for some more time. Gen AI is a space where everyone wants to talk about. Host your potential buyers, the key decision makers in those thought leadership in the Gen AI space. Invite them in the conversation. They will feel more empowered. They will feel that my potential provider wants to work with me. And hence, they are asking me to come over and share the various insights about the Gen AI. Also try to understand the key decision maker as to who is what, who does what, who has the interest to do that, and the person who has an interest in the Gen AI space, are they really the right person who can take a call on the decision buying process? Think on all the parameters. If you do that for the two, three quarters, things will change. But what is important is to understand five things, right? One, what am I going to talk to my customer about Gen AI space? Do I really know my customer Gen AI implementation and adoption journey? And you need to know more than what your customer know about their industry, because only then you can navigate their Gen AI adoption journey. Four, talk to the Google Cloud Gen AI sales team. Ask them to share the good client references so that customer can relay, relate and reflect on it. And trust me, Gen AI is not about one system integrators or the client or one person. It's all about creating a right ecosystem. Build the ecosystem, trust metrics, and then you run it, test it. Ask yourself that are you really ready with the right context to talk to your customer about the Gen AI? Do you have enough full proof points to discuss? Can you really challenge your customer in the Gen AI space? Build a positive tension, and then you drive this journey. That's important. If you do it, 
things will change. If you don't do it, customer would understand that he's here to sell something and he will stop talking to you next call. So in the whole conversation, what I feel that if the account manager, the salesperson in the cloud space, especially in the Gen AI segment, want to sell, your narrative has to be strong. Two, you should know what your customer is talking about Gen AI in the different forums. Three, you should know what your firm is capable of in terms of addressing the client problem or the initiative in the Gen AI space. Five, build a strong narrative. If your narrative is weak, people will not buy it. Try to build a narrative, work with the system, and then look at all the various services which Google Cloud provides in the Gen AI space. Solution, services, all are third stage things. But if you do not set the right context with your CXOs, you would lose the whole game. And if you don't do it, your competitor is doing that. So think about it, guys. I hope you like this video. If you want to discuss anything about Google Cloud, Gen AI services, the strategic narrative construct, I'm happy to have a conversation with you. Thank you and bye-bye.